using the Razer Huntsman Elite as my main keyboard every day. I've always thought that the tournament edition version of this keyboard was the much better purchase, but I've always kind of steered away from trying it out for a couple of reasons. Now you probably know a lot about this keyboard already and its strengths like the TKL layout, the great RGB integration, the detachable Type-C cable and the great and much improved PBT keycaps that are much much better than the ABS one that Razer bundled with every keyboard in the past like I demonstrated on my previous video all the way up, up there but to my surprise this keyboard does a lot more things right and, and to be honest I don't think I'll go back to my Huntsman Elite so if you're coming into this video with the question should I buy the tournament edition or the elite buy the tournament edition unless you need a numpad which you probably don't but let me tell you why you see if you have been around the channel for a little while you probably know that for the past couple of months i've been getting more and more into keyboards and to be honest my days are probably counted until i decide to go all in and just fully build one for myself but for most people that are looking for a mechanical keyboard this isn't something that they're really considering they just want a nice Nice keyboard with good build quality that feels good to type on and that looks good and this one does all of those things plus some tiny little bonuses if you want to dwell into some customization in order to improve on some of its shortcomings but more on that a little later probably the best thing about this keyboard is that Razer clearly listened to all the feedback and bundle it all here there's no more ABS keycaps no more non-illuminated secondary keys a slightly textured aluminum top plate for reduced smudges detachable type C cable that you can change to pretty much any cable that you want a 10 keyless layout with a standard bottom row so that you can change the keycaps to any kit you want all these improvements may May seem small but but even coming from the more expensive Huntsman Elite this keyboard just feels like a more refined smaller brother maybe this smaller brother just spent a summer in France maybe now he drinks tea with a raised pinky or maybe he just started to outgrow his RGB sickness. Because, you know, as silly as it might sound, the 10 keyless version of the Huntsman always looked less sharp than the Elite version. And to be honest, I think it's the lack of the side LEDs. Uh, I've always liked them a lot. But after not having them for a couple of weeks, I don't miss them. The other reason why I didn't try this keyboard in the past were the switches. I mean, I, I haven't felt a lot of different mechanical switches, but I've felt a few, and these are amongst the smoothest linear switches that I've ever felt, mostly because the switch itself, it doesn't contact with the inner housing of the switch, because there isn't much of an inner housing. The actuation force is very low, so you definitely need to get used to typing on it, and the one millimeter actuation distance can definitely be a problem if you tend to mistype a lot. But after some typing and some gaming hours on it, I'm sold. There's definitely some rattling on the switches because of their design with stabilizers on every single key. And right out of the box, the keyboard is a little loud for a keyboard with linear switches. Something they tried to improve with the new Huntsman Mini that I would love to test in the near future. But honestly, I don't think any of that is a deal breaker on the tournament edition. That was just one thing that I noticed immediately after starting to use the keyboard. I mean, the keycaps feel really good and the switches themselves are really smooth, but the sound and the feel of typing wasn't really that impressive. It, it's, it kind of felt a little hollow and a little echoey, so I wondered if there was something I could do about it. Now, disclaimer, if you intend to do any of what I'm about to share, you're on your own and be responsible. So I got myself a screwdriver and dug inside a couple screws on the front and one in the back and I was in. I mean, super easy to get inside and much simpler construction than on my Huntsman Elite. 
and lo and behold the plastic case mold has a lot of space between the main board and the back of the case. As soon as I saw this I, I knew what had to be done and after finding myself some nice dense non-conductive foam and spending the better part of one hour cutting it into tiny pieces to cover every nook and cranny my ears could not have been more surprise. You have to be mindful not to cover too much otherwise the keyboard won't close and also avoid the marked stabilizer resting spots otherwise they will feel terribly mushy but my god the improvement was super noticeable. The keyboard went from being a very thin clickety clacking machine to a slightly thicker clackety clacking machine if uh, that makes any sense. I couldn't be more happy with this keyboard and it probably has delayed my urge to build myself a custom Mac for a couple of months which definitely is as big of a praise as I can make to it. The absolute perfect version of this keyboard, if uh, a Razer wants to take notes, just make this exact same keyboard, try to improve on the font style and on the font positioning on the keycaps, maybe put the symbols on top of each other instead of being on the side. I definitely see why they're on the side because of the light, but I still think it will look cleaner if they were on top of each other. Maybe bring the switches from the Huntsman Mini into it, but more importantly, increase the density of the case of the keyboard. I would even go as far as to say, use some of the materials that you use on your gaming laptops. They are excellent. Just make a fully aluminum case version of this keyboard. I think that will sell really well and people would love it because I know I would. Until then, this tournament edition version of the Huntsman is my recommendation for a pre-built mechanical keyboard and I can't get enough of it. So yeah, uh, that's been it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, you know what to do. And if you want to see more of this face and technology, you also know what to do down there. But if none of this interests you and you're just here for some feline action, um, I'll see my way out. Bye.